We don't have to explain our love to anyone. They're all just jealous anyway. Jealous that we have a kind of love that's greater than anything in the entire galaxy. AOC, my favorite big booty Latina. I love you, AOC, you're my favorite. She wants to kill babies, but she's still beautiful. You look very beautiful in that dress. You look very sexy. Look at that booty on AOC. That's my favorite big booty Latina. I love it. My favorite AOC. Nice to meet you, AOC. Look how sexy she looks in that dress. Woo, I love it, AOC. Hot, hot, hot like a tamale. Okay, so, like, absolutely ridiculous. It's offensive, especially to say to a complete stranger. Yeah, I think we, uh, we had a little bit of a uh, conversation last time relating to uh, some conduct of his around my favorite congresswoman, AOC. Um, I think that it feels kind of weird to make an opening statement on this, so I'll say I think it's relatively non-controversial, but I don't think that we should be sexually harassing people out in public. Um, I think it sets a bad precedent for future behavior. I think it's not fair to the people being sexually harassed. Okay, great. So AOC, who who was very upset, you know, you're a comedian, you're doing what you do, saying things are actually quite the compliments. I, I was complimenting. She's Jenny from the block. I mean, J-Lo is known for her v voluptuous derriere, and all I was trying to do is say, you look great. I don't know why. And I'm in Texas, and you're in Georgia, so we have Southern hospitality. Right. That's how we talk. You're a beautiful lady. You are a very beautiful lady, and I, and I don't mean that anything sexual. I was just saying, I'm just uh, commenting on your beauty. I don't think that that, for me, is some sort of negative thing, but they live in a, in a society where compliments are bigotry. Hey, everybody. I'm here in the Capitol. Um... See this guy right there? Shake, 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 Signora, shake about the line. Shake, shake, shake. He, when I was walking up, um, he said, "Hey," it's right in front of the Capitol Police officer. Said, hey, uh, here's this. Look at that big ass. Look at that big juicy booty. This Latina, like whatever. He said, "This guy followed me up on the Capitol, saying, look at your juicy ass, you blank Latina, and a bunch of other disgusting garbage in front of an officer who let him continue. So I'm just going to share his photo here since there's no other protection. Ladies and anyone, avoid this guy. And she walked over. You threw up a peace sign and said, want to take a selfie? If you're a public figure, you are putting yourself online in front of millions of Americans every single day in government on social media, expecting that you're not going to get heavy or the people are not going to hate you is absolutely ridiculous. Alex Stein claims that it was not sexual harassment, it was just comedy. Come on. This isn't comedy, this is embarrassing. And uh, y'all have probably seen it. AOC calls out Capitol Police after Troll calls her big booty Latina on the hill steps. <laughs> so that was it. Uh, that was you mm -hmm. who called her your favorite big booty Latina and you were very happy and An smiling honor. and saying you loved her and all that stuff. She got mad. Big booty Latina. Big booty Latina. Very clearly. My favorite big booty Latina. I love you, AOC. You're my favorite. Sexually threatening. You look very beautiful in that dress. You look very sexy. Aggressive. Behavior. With AOC, I said, I'm going to try to get an emotional response by hitting on her, but I want her to think I'm serious. I want her to think I actually like her. And it's now, did I take it to the line? Yeah, did I take it across the line? No. She went and claimed that I called her juicy ass, and I said, you know, even <laughs> words. I didn't even say those words. I don't think that calling AOC a big booty Latina solved or, or did anything. I was wrong. It actually got her to come out and issue a prominent statement that January 6th, was uh, that people that police officers in the building opened the door? That would not have happened were it not for something to me seemed completely inane. And here we are. I'm uh, I'm flabbergasted. And you should be. And it is completely <laughs> inane. And let me tell you something. I am mentally insane. These insurrectionists, like Antifa, and that there were actual officers.
officers working with this and we never got to the bottom of that and we never got any answers about that and then to this day we're just supposed to pretend that that never happened we're not i have no idea what happened to the people on the inside who were very clearly sympathetic with what was going on and opening the doors wide open for that and we're i'm supposed to sit here and pretend like none of that ever happened she got mad and so i'll i'll just clarify right away I knew that AOC made the statement about Capitol Police and the insurrection being implying it was an inside job, that there were police inside opening the doors. I just didn't realize that she was making a point about you specifically. It just like, I really just can't help but think about all of that footage and evidence that we saw the day of, of all these Capitol Police officers helping and being sympathetic to the insurrectionists on January 6th. And everyone just decided it was too politically difficult to deal with. So they all just brushed it under the rug. And to this day, there has never been an investigation into that. Never. This is like a miracle. I don't know if she's never had a real man actually cat call her or if, you know, there was some vibing maybe. You guys were vibing there. I'm not sure. But right after you make those comments she all of a sudden is like a conservative she's talking about how the police don't do their job and how she needs her own self-defense uh, wow what do you think we've been talking about and then she says how there's a problem because the police open the doors and let people inside on january 6th alex i don't know what you did but you like you knocked her on a path of reality or something I know, Owen, can you believe that? It went from a troll calling her sexy to her basically giving the inside job narrative of January 6th. The thing that was so crazy about that incident is not even that it happened, but that it happened on the Capitol steps right in front of a Capitol Police officer. And this dude was engaged, like this wasn't about a political opinion or protest or anything like that. He was engaged in very clearly sexually threatening, aggressive behavior right in front on the Capitol steps in front of an officer and he wasn't even asked to take a step back and then on top of that the best part of the whole thing which I could have never guessed this she went in for three hours voted on all these bills and came out and proceeded to throw the Capitol Police under the bus exposing them for letting in the rioters on January 6th when anybody has half a brain I don't care if there's a million rioters on January 6th they're not getting in the building without a key unlocking a door without a mag lock unlocking a window which both things happen both are in control of the Capitol Police so now I got her to turn into a conspiracy theorist tinfoil hat wearing primetime Alex Stein sycophant by saying she thinks it was an inside job. Like, we need to get to the bottom of this. So that's all I got to say. What about Thank you, Congresswoman. Let's, let's get to the bottom of it. And she's complaining. She's like, the cops didn't do anything. The cops didn't do anything to protect me. What I guess I got to defend myself. Wow. So she, so, oh, oh, so you, you're, you're the one that calls for defunding the police and now they don't defend you. Oh, you see why that's a bad idea. And then she's like, well, the cops won't defend me. So I have to defend myself. Oh, now you understand why we have a second amendment. That was like 30 seconds after the exchange. I mean, she started thinking right for the first time in her life. Oh, and this is the worst part is her fiance got totally cucked. He was with her the whole time. He didn't do anything. The redheaded. I she wasn't going to gonna bring up the cucking. I wasn't going to go there. Yeah. The cucking happened oh. in D.C. on the Capitol steps. Primetime 99 cucked AOCs. Look at him right there. Pause it. That's him with Are the beard sure and his dog. Are you sure that's not just her dog walker? Her freaking fiancé was right there and didn't do <laughs> a didn't thing. Do shit. That's, why, that's why she was so mad is because I totally cucked him and he looked like a little baby back biatch. Yeah. And so, you know, <laughs> she just was, she lost it. Like she could not let that happen in the public sphere. Yeah, I noticed too, she came over like, peace, you, what you're saying doesn't affect me, I don't care. And then afterwards she went, oh, I could use this for more victimization. Well, the worst part about it is that was her fiance. I totally cucked her fiance. I'm saying, oh, you got a big juicy Latina booty, you're a hot tamale, <laughs> yet Jill Biden's calling Mexicans breakfast tacos. But I, God forbid I call her a hot tamale. I felt that my life has been in danger since the moment that, um, I won my primary election in 2018. These are people like her who have called for other people to be harassed in mm -hmm. public, her right? Her exact mm -hmm. words are said, we need to make people uncomfortable. Yes. That's her exact she words. She tweeted it. Yep. Yeah, so you did it. So you did it. I'm looking over your shoulder. Yeah. What does it mean? It means when I wake up in the morning, I hesitate to walk my dog. 
It means when I come home, um, I have to ask my fiance to come out to where my car is to walk me to just from my car to my front door. I, I also really took issue with the way that she tweeted about it. She posted his video and of course cut out the watermark of, yeah, of where course, he, yeah. you can yeah. find him online <laughs> right. and said, here's a video he posted of the incident. I was actually walking over to deck him because if no one will protect us, then I'll do it myself. Yeah. But I needed to catch a vote more than a case today. So, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Go that deck doesn't him. look like decking, yeah, by no. the way. But I, it, I really took issue with if no one will protect us, like protect you from what speech, speech? protect you from yeah. a compliment. Like it was a compliment at the end of the day. I, I know what your strategy was, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it was a compliment. Look at that big ass. Look at that big juicy booty. Big juicy booty. Big juicy booty. Big juicy booty. <laughs> the memes were the best part of this whole thing. They I think. really yeah, were. Yeah. And I'm getting a lot of heat. This mean that I didn't call her taco. But Benny, I called her tamale. There was uh, AOC, you know, the meme with the head just above water like this. And it said, <laughs> but. and then Alex Stein, big booty Latina, and her giant ass was on the bottom of the pool. <laughs> it's about 90% of the meme economy, but 91% of the meme economy is you right now. I wanted to share some memes with you. We're going to send you a few memes. I'd love to get your reactions to them. Yep. Is that this is why this meme is so good because it's so accurate. I mean, her fiance totally, I don't know if we can say this, totally got cucked. I mean, it was her job to say, it was, I mean, excuse me, it was his job to say something to me. Hey, buddy, shut your mouth. Didn't say a word, walks the dog, puts his head down exactly like this while I'm sitting there with a smile on my face. Oh, this is the best. This is the one where she's looking at me and I'm clapping and I got the good little hairdo going on. AOC tweets, what actually happened? Of course, of course. She said she was going to dig me. She said that, that I came out there and that I used violent speech. Yeah, she had the peace sign. She's coming there throwing up the deuces. So come on. She's such a liar. And she said that I said ass and juicy. She said words that I didn't say. It's all on camera. I mean, let me tell you something. I like this picture a lot. I might get this in a frame. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, uh, this is, I look very dominant in that position. Now, this is the best one. This is me massaging her, you know, and she's still mad about it. And I love it. This is the number one. Look at that big ass. Look at that big juicy booty. Look at that big juicy booty. Look at that big ass, which I didn't say. And then you see Trump's beautiful derriere right there. That's the best one. Okay, that wins best meme of it all. Because I've been said that a hundred times. And it's cute. She has that video where she's doing all the sexy dances. And she's like on the rooftop. And she's doing the spicy Latina dance. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You are the brothers can deny. Yeah, when a girl walks in with the itty bitty waist and the round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna pull off the tongue cause you know that butt was tough. Deep in the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh baby, I wanna get with ya and take your picture. My homeboys try to warn me, but that butt you got makes me so horny. Little in the middle, but you got much back. Shake, 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 Sonora, shake your body line. Shake, 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 Sonora, shake it all the time. Work, 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 Sonora, work your body line. Work, 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 Sonora, work it all the time. My girl's name is Sonora, I tell you friends how you do her. And when she dances a brother, she's all again in all kinds of weather. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you, jump in the line. Rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. Rock your body in time. Okay. So congratulations, Alex Stein, you sick little pervert on your 15 seconds of fame. And congratulations on announcing to the entire world and all the women in your life that you're a creep. She's 32 years old and she's considered like the most popular congresswoman. So that shows you it's a fake swamp. They're all idiots. And she is the queen idiot. All right, all right, listen, all right, listen. Alex Stein, uh, he's one of the most popular men in America right now. 
Believe it or not, he is. Just as a quick update, how was your butthole after Jim It was Stu's not great. Hour? I didn't have a solid stool for about 48 hours. No, it was coming yeah. out. It was not. Yeah, did it, it burn when it came out? Yeah, well, you know, actually, yes. it, it, it did. It, but the burning wasn't as bad as the, it was kind of like the the running to the bathroom and having to go and it constantly, basically almost having to wear adult diapers. But that's fine. I don't mind doing that. Bro, I was. Anything for content. So in my mind, I said, you know what? I'm going to give AOC what she wants. I'm going to bait her, and I'm going to sexualize her. And actually, you know, I called this on, on Sarah Gonzalez's show on The Blaze before. I said, I'm going to call her Big Booty Latina. Hey, baby. 